So I think with isometrics, we go wrong in two, two places. One, we're trying to do isometrics on somebody who doesn't have tendon pain. That's the first thing. And the second thing, when we do it, we don't load them enough. So we, we do, um, you know, some TheraBand or something like that, uh, resistance, which is just not going to be enough. You probably need, in most people, to have body weight loads at least. Um, but, you know, how you manipulate that is, is your clinical decision. Okay. And what would you expect? A temporary relief? Like what would be like, um, okay, that's tandem. So you get, they get a little better and then it comes back. So how do you, what do you expect? So we would expect that immediately after the isometrics, there was at least a drop by half of their pain. So we would assess their hop pain or their decline squat pain before we did the isometrics and rate it out of 10. So it's a six out of 10 pain and then do the isometrics. We would want it to be three or less. So at least drop by half. If it's six before and five after, two things. You either isometrics aren't heavy enough or long enough or it's not tendon pain or your primary pain is not tendon related. Uh, and so you can, you'd go back looking for something else being the source of your pain. If you don't get a substantial change in pain immediately, something needs to be reviewed. And if you do get a substantial change in pain, it usually persists for several hours. So these people will get a benefit, you know, four, six, eight, sometimes even longer hours um, from their isometrics, which is wonderful if you do have somebody with tendon pain response to isometrics that they can use it regularly um, to relieve their pain. 